Warner Brothers Discovery reported a significant decline in games revenue, attributing it to the underperformance of Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League compared to the previous hit, Hogwarts Legacy. The company faced a $200 million hit to revenue due to the game's disappointing sales. In response, Warner Brothers Discovery's CFO detailed an impairment charge resulting from the game's failure during a recent investor-focused call. Critics panned Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, and its low player numbers on Steam further highlighted its lackluster reception. Fans expressed frustration over the game not being another Batman installment from Rocksteady, known for the beloved Batman Arkham series. Rocksteady now faces uncertainty regarding Warner Brothers' commitment to Suicide Squad's live service, as the studio's next project remains unannounced. Meanwhile, Warner Brothers recently unveiled Batman, Arkham Shadow, a VR game developed by Camouflage, set for release exclusively on the MetaQuest 3 later in 2024. Thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, bye.